Hi, everyone. I am here today to share more about AI tools. And as I've talked about in my last couple shows, AI is not our answer for everything, but it can help us along the way. We still do need that human interaction so that we can really excel the way we are doing things, right? Um, so today we're talking about Magic School AI. This is one of my favorites. I would say it's not my most favorite. I will save that for another day. Um, but Magic School is really an awesome way to differentiate, come up with lesson plans, create rubrics, get ideas. Um, so let me just share a little bit about Magic, Magic School AI um, and kind of walk you through it. And then of course, if you have any questions, you can comment. And, um, and if you want to know more about AI tools and things that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that I can give you more access to these things, because this is so helpful for any educator. Um, even if you're a special educator or not, this is so helpful. So um, it is free for educators. You can just click the sign up for teachers. And that's honestly, exactly where you would go. Um, I'm, I already have an account, so I'm just going to straight log in. And this is what it looks like when you log in. Um, you can talk to a chat box on the side here, um, and you can look at any of your history if you've created rubrics or lessons in the past, and you feel like that's really helpful for you. Um, Magic Tools is just all of these. Um, and you can kind of go up here and go, oh, I actually just need like a set of questions, um, any community tools, student supports, those types of things. So let's just kind of walk through a couple of these that are just really helpful. Um, so let's go to this lesson plan generator. Um, I see there's lots of new ones here, and I'm sure after I record this, there is still even more out there that comes with new stuff. So lesson plan generator, I feel like is the really most basic one. Um, and I'm going to go, we're going to go second grade and we're going to do life cycle, um, of a plant. Let's see if we can do that. Great. Um, Let's see, any other additional things that I want to share? Um, you know what? I'm just not going to do any of that. I'm going to leave it as is and see what happens. Um, align to Common Core Standards. That's what my state uses. Um, so we're going to start there and see what happens. So it's going to take a minute to, you know, get all these things in here. Um, it does go through all of the key points. So if you want to go, you know, and these are your learning targets, um, it shows how they are going to be assessed, uh, how to open it, how do you introduce new material, any of the guided, independent closing. If you have extra time for an extension activity, that's always fun too. Um, any homework, things that they can take home. And then when, where is this related? So it's got the next gen standards and Common Core, which is fantastic. Um, so if you need this translated, you can translate it. Um, you can make it shortened, you can summarize it, or you can ask the AI bot to analyze it a little bit more and do more details with it. Uh, I'm gonna make sure my picture is out of the way here um, so you can really see this whole thing. Um, but it's really cool, it just breaks it down for you. And if you're like, I have no idea how I'm gonna teach the life cycle of a plant, type it in here, get some ideas. Uh, I would not literally copy and paste and turn this in if you have to turn in lesson plans. Obviously you want to do more of your own words and your own practice in there. Um, let me do now maybe a 10th grade, what am I teaching? Um, algebra, algebra. Let's see what it comes up with um, just to say like, hey, I'm teaching algebra. Great. We're going to talk about variables, constants, and operations. Um, and again, kind of just get some great ideas of how we can do independent practice, how you can do guided practice, all of those things to get a comprehensive lesson. Um, so again, just a tool to kind of look at to get some ideas. All right, let's go ahead back. Um, let's see. A rubric generator is always a really fun one. Um, I'm going to need a sixth grade. Um, you can literally put in the IEP goals in there. Um, student will be able to, uh, write a five paragraph essay, uh, with three supporting, uh, details in each paragraph with um, correct grammar and punctuation. Okay, 
Great. Uh, assignment title. So this is creating an actual assignment. So this is more for um, creating like writing prompts, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, what, what do we want to call this one? This one could be um, school lunches. I don't know. I'm just going with what was kind of up there. Um, write a, yeah, write a paragraph. Yes, I, um, great. Shoo. So what are you doing? Great. Let's see. We're going to do a five point scale. You can do a three point scale, a four point scale, whatever you want. Um, so again, this could be great to put in IEP goals, but this obviously is looking more of like a writing prompt sample. Um, let's see what it comes up with just for funds. Great, so we want organization of it. Obviously, we want the supporting details. We want grammar and punctuation. Those were the three things that I really had talked about is that they have a five paragraph essay. It's got supporting details that get grammar and punctuation. Fantastic. Honestly, you don't even need to put in a school assignment. You can just generate it and it'll pretty much just like remove. Oh, it says fill out this field, so you have to. Um, but you can put it as student goal, um, that kind of thing. So if you are looking for a rubric this is easy um then obviously if you want to print this if you are literally looking to you can copy it copy and paste it into a google doc or a slide deck or something of that sort you can also share it out um you can share it publicly or don't share it that kind of thing um you can also take a screenshot of this if that's something you want to um very easy to just kind of click and grab so um let's see let's go over maybe one or two more so obviously you can do like text dependent questions. So like looking at the text and getting questions from them. Um, you can do math story word problems. So if you have an, a student working on IEP goals for word problems and you just don't want to come up with any more word problems, they can create them for you. Um, song generator, you want a specific song to motivate a student to wash their hands. You can create a song. Um, there is an IEP generator. I'm going to say be very cautious about using that because it is supposed to be individualized. I, AI is only going so far right now. It's not fully <laughs> ready to do all individualized education plans. Um, so just be very careful of that. You could have a proofreader tool. Your students could be using this as a proofreader. Um, depth of knowledge questions can be in there. Um, emails, professional emails lots of different things here choice boards create a choice board all right let's see what we can do let's do a kindergarten choice board i don't even know what this is going to do but i'm going to do leisure leisure choices there's not going to be a standard let's see what it comes up with let's just do it let's see what happens draw and write role play interview no not quite what i was looking for act it out yeah so this is more i think for like assignments yeah exactly you can do assign different types of assignments for you um so they want to be able to produce a product or do a project and they get to create how they want to do that here's a multi-choice generator you can do a teacher joke generator all right i gotta do this one let's do a second grade let's just see what it comes up with teacher joke love that why did the math book look sad because i had too many problems <laughs> What do you call a gummy bear or a teeth a bear with no teeth a gummy bear that's so cute so cute so if you need a joke of the day totally just do that um there's that lesson plan generator again oh we we did we got back to the top all right let's go back choice boards social stories social narratives um you can do that you can summarize youtube videos literally upload a video and it'll summarize it for you you can literally pull it in and say you know students this is what this is about and this is why we know that fantastic seriously honestly you could spend hours and hours on here vocabulary text generator again fantastic um so lots of different things behavior plans is also starting to be in here preparing for the sats syllabus generator i, I on and on i can honestly go um but those were just a couple things that you can kind of just play around a quote of the day I love this. There's so many things here I just want to play around with. So if you have any questions about Magic School AI, feel free to reach out or comment below. And of course, make sure to subscribe so that you can get access to all of my AI tools that I'm sharing um, on my YouTube channel. And then you'll get notified when I have a new video. So thank you so much for being here.